on my honor, I will try to serve God and my country to help people at all times and to live by the Girl Scout law. Hello, my name's Sophie. I'm your local Girl Scout from Troop 661. Yeah, buy cookies. Anyways, as a Girl Scout, you're taught a lot of things. Like I have, look at how many badges I have. Aren't those great? I read books. I, I, I helped. What did he say? <laughs> helped make some food. And I was active. I volunteered at an animal shelter. I do, I do a lot of things as a local Girl Scout in my community. But one thing we never did was tie knots. I will make my sisters proud. I will make my sisters proud. Now let's get ready to tie these knots. But first, we must recite the ancient texts. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do and to respect myself, others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. The first knot I'm going to do is a bow line. So the thing about being a Girl Scout that they don't tell you is how awkward it is when you're like three years old and um, you're trying to sell cookies in your neighborhood and everyone's just like why are you bothering me you're three and you're just like i don't know please buy cookies and here we are there's there's your bow line i have my loop purr for the clove hitch i'm going to be using this as my pole it's color conditioner that makes my hair pink Yay. So what you do is you find your pole. There's my, there's my pole. I get my end and I wrap it around. Oh, there it goes. And then I'm trying not to knock this off. You cross this going under and then you bring it around town and you pull it through like, 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 that and then there you go <sighs> cookies the next knot we're doing is a square knot again as i as i mentioned before girl scouts in an interesting time especially because when i was a girl scout i would have people invite me into their homes as a small child to give me water were those bad signs yep did I ignore them? Yep. Anyways, here's a square knot. For a square knot, you just go over. Oh, don't do it. Oh, no. yeah. oh my God. And then you go over, cross at the top, and you get your two little things, your little guys on the side. Look at them. And there's my little knot. Perfectly perfect in every way, just like me. I will have the top cookie sales. Next, we have our half hitch. I wish I had been taught how to do these knots when I was in Girl Scout, but you know, apparently I'm not allowed to, but I'm doing it now. Who's gonna stop me? Is the founder of Girl Scouts of America going to barge to my room and tell me I can't? No, so therefore I don't care. Anyways. We go around like this and see I'm pulling it through there you go and then we actually keep over the top oh my god breaking the rules break, breaking the rules and then you pull it tight and it usually goes around something like this and it stays wow yeah. get off okay. no don't worry about that the next knot we will be doing is a figure eight but first a word from our sponsor. 
Girl Scouts. Hello there. Oh my goodness. Welcome. Do you want cookies, but do they suck? Look no further. I'm a Girl Scout. I sell them. Homemade cookies? They sound nice, right? Sound like a good time, right? Wrong! Your cookies can never compare! Now, if you want to help a little girl further her business opportunities, look no further than your local Girl Scout. We got Thin Mints, Samoas. I'll see. Oh my. We got Dosey Dos, Tagalongs, Toffee Tastics, our new Adventure Foils, Trefoils, Girl Scout S'mores and lemon ups. So many wonderful flavors of cookies to choose from. Go to girlscout.com and find your local Girl Scout troop to buy cookies from. Support our troops. That is not what I want. It's different. It's, it's still like a supply. Support our troops. Your Girl Scout troop. Girl Scouts of America. Well, that was exhilarating. Let's get back to the knots. So figure eight, you start by kind of making a staff like you'd see in sheet music. So I'm, this will be my standing, using the terminology, my standing thread. Yeah. And we're gonna cross back and then we're going to cross forward. And then this is going to cross under. And then you pull. And then there you have it, your figure eight. Purr. We've made it to the last knot. This last knot we're doing is called the Alpine Butterfly. Now, a lot of people say this is really hard. I, however, am so skilled that it is very easy. So for the Alpine Butterfly, I put it on my hand like, like, like this. Oh my God, what is that? And I wrap it three times, not one, not two, but three times. I grab it and pull from the middle under, like like that, like it was right, it was right here, and I pulled it under here and through here, and then bring it across and go back through. And then of course you dress it. <laughs> Look at me, so good at what I do. I know it's kind of mesmerizing to be this good at something. And there you have it, the Alpine Butterfly. And that was our last knot. <laughs> I'm insane at what I do. Thank you so much for watching. I hope, I hope you like. Again, this is Sophie from Girl Scout Troop 661. And this time, I'm signing off. Bye.